Hello, my name is Asman Köksal. I'm going to show you very briefly about iLogic and how it can be applied into assemblies in Inventor. What I have here as an example today is a door assembly that was created on Inventor and I have previously embedded two iLogic codes in the assembly level and as many as uh, five in the parts level that controls this assembly uh, based on this a dialog box such as this one where I'm just demonstrating how we can pick and choose features and options that we can easily very easily uh, manipulate this assembly so what we will do is we're gonna look under the hood of iLogic and how we can create a couple of syntaxes and dialog boxes such as this one uh, to be able to uh, further edit this assembly because right now we don't have changing the color capabilities we're gonna add uh, capability that would change the color of this assembly now these are the buttons that iLogic adds once it's installed um, on our machine um, it adds these features, these new features onto user interface and the model tree turns into uh, iLogic tree uh, where any any time we create a new new iLogic code, it it gets placed on this iLogic tree here. And I just want to show you very briefly the synthetic syntaxes that are built into iLogic each iLogic code. That we can double click on it and it'll place each syntax that we want automatically on our edit window. Now again, um, iLogic is a simplified version of Visual Basic it's a little bit more intuitive and we can actually uh, utilize some of the Visual Basic um, options here but we really don't have to because everything most of the things that we need are already built in here so the first thing I'm gonna do is to create a string variable we can name it almost anything now hit done um, I'll right click on on the part name in this case assembly name and I will simply double click on the color now this specific syntax allows us to change the color of a part within that assembly now the key key here is to show uh, to um, write down the name of this part correctly exact same way that it was written or it was named on the model tree otherwise um, this iLogic code is going to give us errors in terms of updating that part so I'll go ahead and name each line uh, with the correct part part names and what is also important is to name the colors that we want um, there's a certain color names in I in inventor that uh, that we can we can use. However, if you misspell one of the colors at this point, our iLogic code will give us error. So I'll very carefully um, spell them correctly. I'm almost done here, and as soon as I hit the OK button, as soon as I finish copying this, it will go ahead and place replace the color each individual part in this assembly. As you can see how quickly it uh, updated was was amazing so at this point what also we can do is to prevent the next engineer to go through the same trouble and we're gonna add a dialog box a pick and choose box it's that is already built into iLogic all I have to do is double click on it and then make this I'm going to change the, the color names to the variable now this variable we don't have to declare it anywhere else or create it in the I, I parameters and the reason for that is it's only used within this code in other words this variable doesn't carry other information out of this specific code so we can definitely use it this fashion uh, what is also really important is to, to create a multi-value list now I'll copy this edit here and because we are setting a list I'll add the set 
and I will change this to the string variable that we just created a minute ago. Uh, that way they are they are consistent. The key here at this point is to name the multi-value set list and right underneath here on the on the fourth line we have to name it the same fashion as we're naming it here. At this point I will give three options uh, wood ash, wood oak and wood pine. Um, again the naming convention here is very very important for the colors because the spelling of these colors are set on inventor. If I misspell anything it'll give us um, error. It will simply not run this code. Now I'll go ahead and change these variables here too. Um, we can call it colors or actually available colors and they will pop up at the top of our dialog box. So I'll hit OK. As you can see um, I can pick the available colors right now. Uh, this is the previous dialog box so I'll just run this code one more time. If I select wood pine it'll change automatically to wood pine. If I change wood oak it's an instant update as you can see. Now this will allow us to um, save a lot of time in the down road so we don't have to repeat everything over and over again. Again my name is Osman Köksal. Hopefully this demonstration allowed me to show you how iLogic can be utilized in Inventor. Thanks.